we have a bad connection and you've been dropped. Hi, I'm Pearson and welcome to Date Drop, the show where I get to virtually speed date my way through six contestants via video and find myself a boyfriend. But first, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Awesomeness TV and my channel. Let's get started. This first round is called Pick Up or Shut Up. I can't see any of your faces, but I'm sure you're all very beautiful. Right now is the opportunity to give me your best pickup line. I'm ready to hear. Hey Pearson, my name is Jesse. I'm from New Jersey. I am a student and um, I'm a fitness and health and nutrition YouTuber. Nice, that's awesome. Are you Australian by any chance? I'm not. Because you meet all of my qualifications. I love it. <laughs> I like you. Can't see you, but I like you already. Hi, Pearson. Uh, my name is Marvin. Uh, I go to the University of Delaware. I'm also in the military. Uh, I've actually been in two branches. Dang. All I can say is on a scale of one to 10, you're a nine and I'm the one you need. Ooh, that one got me good. <laughs> Uh, my name's Lior, and I moved around a lot as a kid. So I lived in Israel, and then England, oh, wow. and then Massachusetts. And rather than try and flirt with you, I figured I would just seduce you with awkwardness. So <laughs> what is your favorite vegetable and why? Oh God, um, this is awkward. Would I, be, would I be wrong if I said I didn't have a favorite vegetable? If I- I think that is the perfect right? answer. There's no good there's, vegetable. There's no good vegetable. Hey Pearson, my name is Brian. I'm from San Diego, I'm living in Los Los Angeles now. I'm a sneakerhead. I love sneakers. Are you a goldfish by any chance? Am I? I last I checked, I'm not a goldfish. Because you're the snack that smiles back. Ooh, that was smooth. Oh, wow, that, that was, was smooth. smooth. Huh? Yeah, there you go. I love that. Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt Pearson, but is is that a uh, a hole in the ceiling? Because it looks like you've just fallen from heaven. Oh, Harry Styles is like giving me giving me the 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 blushies right now. So I guess I have the impossible task of going after the uh, the accent. My name my name is Alex, and I am Alex. a um, grad student in business school, and I also do life coaching. Do you have a Band-Aid? Um, because I scrape my knees falling for you. Oh, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are making this too hard for me. These were all so good. However, I do have to eliminate one of you, unfortunately. I feel like I've heard the Band-Aid one a couple of times. I'm sorry, Alex, but we just we just have a bad connection, and you've been dropped. Oh my God! It's all good. You couldn't see my face, I know, uh, but listen, the rest of the guys are, are handsome in their own right, so you know it's all good. Can I switch my answer? Can I switch my answer? This next round is called playing games. It's so nice to see all your smiling faces. You're all so handsome, just as I suspected. Many of you may know, I met Brent Rivera on something kind of similar, which was called Date Takeover, where I had to pitch myself to him. I want you guys to pitch yourselves to me as if you were a product. The, the, the hottest, hottest product out there. Whenever you're lonely, you feel like you need someone there. Brian's there for you. Whenever you need some good taste of music, your boy's got you. Whenever you want some good Mexican food, some good tacos, and you want to shop for some cool sneaks, Look no further, Brian's here for you to make you feel good. Ooh, okay, boom. Brian, that was impressive. Boom, 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 Hi there. Do you ever find yourself in the kitchen near a cabinet that you just can't quite reach? Don't worry, our new improved Marvin product comes in at six foot one inches, so he's got your back. Wanna let you know that his work ethic is good. He cooks, cleans, fights, plays video games, and he knows a little magic. Ooh. He can be yours for three easy payments of not eliminating him in the second round. Huh, that's a good deal. That's a pretty good deal. I might have to take that one. Oh, what's going on? So I hear you're looking for a boyfriend. Well, good thing, I'm here. I cook, I clean, I can I can make you breakfast in the morning. I also work out, so you got a workout partner every single day. So if you're looking for me as a boyfriend, I'm right here and ready to go. Whoa. <laughs> I think everyone Dude. I think everyone in this call wants to marry you now. round <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Lior 11 plus. I can replace your iPhone and give you French to English translations. Bonjour, je peux parler en français avec vous. I can also give you incredible neck massages and I can cook mediocrely but with a great apron. <laughs> Oh my god. So that's what I oh. offer you. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, who is next? Let's see. Yeah, I think it is me. I've waited to last. I'll tell you what though, Jesse, can you can you can you put a top on? <laughs> it's distracting. So, how it 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna give you a bit of ASMR as well. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Introducing. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's the, the new and improved Ashes Ready to Party. Oh, yeah. Woo. Let's bring it down. We're bringing it down. This isn't just your average boy from southeast London. No, this is your gourmet boy from Dartford ready for a date with Pearson. <laughs> Oh my god, I have never been so entertained. It's the sad part of it, it's the elimination time. This is a really tough, tough decision yet again, but unfortunately... This is a really tough, tough decision yet again, but unfortunately... Brian, we have a bad connection and you are dropped. Now it's time to dig into some of your social media dirt. Aww. Man, that was high school graduation. <laughs> oh my god, this is adorable. This is this is high school graduation. You look um, like a baby. Cool. Yeah, I was 18. No facial <laughs> so, hair. Yeah, that was graduation. Uh, it was cool. They let us wear any medal that we had won for anything while we were. Uh, okay, so uh, that. so you're really just like flexing on us right now, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I need, oh I need, to, I need to go. I need to go. Jesse, get your butt back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Okay, oh. so Whew. leave, leave me through what, what led to this photo. Okay. Please tell me it was like a Halloween party and not just like, not just like a casual day. <laughs> no, it was not Halloween at all. In fact, it was actually only a few weeks ago. I actually dress up quite a lot. But yeah, so I tried out this other YouTuber's diet for the day. I dressed up and the intro was that he was a sensei and I was the young sensei approaching him. Honestly, it looks like a Greek god more than anything. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> like Zeus on steroids. It looks like a toga. <laughs> and I went up to him, I say, sensei, I need your help. And, I, and then it goes into a skit and everything. And I just, <laughs> I was dressed up. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked, honestly shocked. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you're making me thirsty, Jesse, so I'm having some <laughs> 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 nice. Ooh, you're you're one yeah, with sure. nature. Like you climb trees in your s spare time. You're Tarzan yeah. 2.0. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why this one, guys? <laughs> okay, well. Okay, I forgot this. What happened here? Explain is that this to me. I was in the south of France, and there was this like really cool old tower, and then we had scaled it. Like we rock climbed with our clothes on. And uh -huh. it was a beautiful sunset, so we commemorate it with with Pete. I yeah. mean, when you gotta yeah. go, you gotta go. I'm not well, blaming you, I'm not judging you, but I mean, this tells a lot about your character, okay? We were up there for a long time. Okay, Ashley, I see you working. Yeah, but not as much as Jeff. Both guy, so, no, nah, you're looking good, good dog. Get that one. You looking good. No, nah, come on, mate. You got better dust than I do. That's not even dirt. That's a great picture. <laughs> <laughs> right, this, now, on the other hand. This, yeah, right. So this, this, this is like the reverse. It was outside and uh, there was like these like rapscallions outside sitting around uh, being really noisy. We were so hung over so I was like, I'll scare them off. So um, they weren't actually that, that pants. They're a pair of boxes I've pulled up like a sumo, which is even worse. <laughs> um, and it, it did scare them off, it did. Wow, you guys have left me dumbfounded. That's for sure. I love funny things. I love comedy, um, so for Jesse, Lior, and Ashley, your guys' were very funny pictures. I'm so sorry, Marvin, you seem like a great guy, but we've got a bad connection, and unfortunately, you are dropped. Now it's time to really get into the juicy stuff. So I want you guys to give me a quick tour of your bedroom. I just wanna get to know you guys a little bit more, um, see where you guys, you know, are most yourselves. Okay, so we'll start. Uh, we'll start with what's in front of me. But we have my to-do list. First one, find a girlfriend. That's been there for weeks. I don't know what's gonna happen, what's going on with that. Oh, 100K nah. subs. And we're getting close to one of them, but it's not the girlfriend. Anyways, moving away from that. Maybe it is. <laughs> we hope so. So that's a painting I painted. Then we got another one over here. I know you guys are interested in what's going on in the closet. Ugh. This is my closet. Nice. Not too bad. I keep it pretty organized. I pretty much nice. wear pants and joggers every single day. You gotta hide the calves if they're not if they're not as big as you'd like, so mm. it is what it is. Because mm. I just moved to LA, I'm staying at my aunt and uncle's house, and I'm actually in my cousin's room, but I've tried to personalize it a bit. So this is the kind of hybrid room I live in. Okay, cool. Um, first, we have my college degree, which is exciting. Very I exciting. Virtually in May, which was not that great. Uh. Over here is a fountain pen and 
uh, ink because wow. I like writing and journaling. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm working on a screenplay, so that's <gasps> so a lot exciting. of writing. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's really fun. So those are my passports in case I ever need them. Oh wow! Which is, I guess, a, I'm sorry if that was a weird flex. They just like that's. Really I feel dope. like it was kind of a weird flex. All right, it's time to take you on a tour. So I come in from the front door. We've got a dartboard there. Uh, Ooh. I mean, I might as well. Yeah. Do you like darts? Uh, I love it, but I'm horrible at it. So you can teach me how to be better. Okay, right, I feel like I might put you down and uh, test this to see what I can get. I'll throw two darts. See if okay. I can decent. Is he gonna do it? That's the question. Four. Wait, I'm confused. Triple 20. I mean, don't look at the floor. There's no darts on the floor, so don't even worry about that. No. There's no trick going on. Just quickly put that one in there as well. Lovely. And I love surfing and skating. There's my skateboards. Oh wow, that's awesome! You know, um, have you ever been have you ever been surfing before? When I say I love it, I love watching surfing in, in the UK. Uh, I mean, there's actually some perfect spots in Dorset, uh, and if you were to go to Cornwall as well in Butte. So if you'd like to come over to the UK, I could always show you a good time. Wow, I feel like I'm I know you guys so well. I don't want to say goodbye to any of you guys, Ashley. Um, you are hilarious. I love your personality. I think we would make really great friends. I'd love to visit you, but I mean, home is in California. No, you can't come. You can't come now. Don't want to. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. Sorry, Pearson. Sorry, well, Pearson. then, you know what? You know what, no, Ashley? We have a bad connection, and you've been dropped. No! No! Bye, Ashley. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to evaluate you two. Um, you're the last two contestants. Congratulations for making it thus far, but of course, there is only one winner. The Apron Boys made it all the way. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so. We both had aprons. Jesse, you started off very strong, not to mention the apron. I was not expecting you to come back um, flexing on us with those <laughs> massive muscles, um, with just a little tiny little apron. But I mean, if that's something that I'd wake up to in the morning, every day, I, I, every day with <laughs> you I cooking you. some food, you because you like established toast? that. Do, you like Do I toast? like French toast? Of course. Guess who cooks French, like French toast twice a day? Twice a day. Lior, you started off with the vegetable pickup line, which I thought was very bold. But then, you know, you, pee you peed in public. So, I mean, that's... No one could see that, though. It was, like, hidden away on top of a building. What if I decided to go on a little hike and I sat down right where you peed and I had no idea? I would be pretty upset. I would pretty feel upset. horrible and then, like, scuff <laughs> the ground a little bit and then we would figure something out. <laughs> this was a very hard decision, guys. Um, you both are so amazing, and I'd love to meet you guys in person um, eventually. But for now, um, I'm sorry. You both are so amazing, and I'd love to meet you guys in person um, eventually. But for now, um, I'm sorry, Lior, but we do have a bad connection, and you are dropped. Bye-bye. I love you, Lior. I love you, man. Woo! And then there were two! So, uh, should we just, like, you know, go get married, like, now? Yeah, I mean, I think... Let me just grab something. I got, a, I got a ring already. I mean, if this is your size, we can just quickly, you know, elope. I do. Let's do it. Thanks for watching Date Drop. Bye, everyone.